Two more essential workers on the job to keep people fed have now died of COVID-19 in our state. An eighth employee at the JVS meatpacking plant in Greeley passed away, and a King Supers worker in Denver's Capitol Hill neighborhood also died. The union that represents both of these workers has been calling for better protections for weeks. Nine News reporter Brian Harris spoke with the president about the deaths. There's such a need for enforceable laws uh, in this country in regards to worker safety. The UFCW Local 7 President Kim Cordova has been saying this since the virus outbreak at the JBS meatpacking plant in Greeley, that employers need to do more to protect their employees. Employees like 60-year-old Tin Ai, who passed away Sunday after weeks on a ventilator. She was a refugee. She had worked for JBS since 2008. A kind, loving woman. She was a grandmother. Never got to meet her grandson um, because she was already on a ventilator. And we're also learning more about the King Supers employee who passed away, Randy Narvez. He'd worked in the Denver grocery store for decades. 11 workers have now tested positive for COVID-19 at that busy Capitol Hill store. Cordova says not enough is being done to limit customers or mandate masks. They're trying to go back to normal and, and we're anything but normal uh, right now. We're still in the middle of this pandemic. JBS and Kroger, King Super's parent company, both responding tonight. JBS sending, quote, thoughts and prayers to the I family. King Super's, quote, deeply saddened by Randy Narvaez's death. Both say they have strict employee screening measures in place. Both at one point closed and deep cleaned their facilities, but the union wants paid sick leave, federal inspectors inside the stores and daily COVID testing for workers. Well, they're the backbone of this country, the backbone of this economy, and we can't have blue collar frontline essential workers passing away. Uh, this is it, enough is enough. In Denver, Ryan Harrow, Nine News. JBS says that it's offering free testing for the meatpacking plant employees who want it. King Super said that it plans to test all of the employees at that store and that the 11 who have tested positive have self-quarantined. King Super has also said that it's been limiting the number of people who can be in that store at any given time.